Hi there, it's time for the newest Inspired by a Car with Natalie and today we're going to look at a way of adding extra dimension to your next paper crafting project. So come join me. Hi there, this is Natalie and I am so glad you're here for a new episode of Inspired by a Car with Natalie. Today's inspiration comes from Noreen Boris from the latest blog hop and she's using the Freely Peonis 3D embossing folder to create her card and I'm actually going to use the same to create a pocket page spread. So I'm going to start by actually uh, creating the embossing um, piece of uh, paper. Now. If you see her and Noreen's card, she actually embossed the cardstock. This is color cardstock that she used and then apply color after. I want to start giving it the extra dimension as um, from the beginning. So my choice is to actually color. Use, first of all, I'm using color cardstock, but I'm going to add extra color onto my folder just to give it, like I said, that extra dimension. So for this, I am using this is frosty pink pigment ink and you see that I'm using a brayer to kind of apply the ink to the top uh, flap or for um, yeah the top flap of the folder once I've applied the frosty pink I'm actually gonna use um, the brayer again to collect the ink from the coral berry pigment ink and apply it on top of the ink that already has on the embossing uh, folder that's just gonna create a depth of color and then i'm going to go ahead and use my large die cutting machine to actually emboss my pink cardstock and i'm using this because i need to emboss my folder twice the size of the card that she created is a runoff a2 i need to create a six by eight title page so i need to emboss my folder twice which means i'm going to have to repeat the same procedure of applying the ink onto my folder to create a second um embossing um peony um, I'm going to call section right underneath the one that I created and I want to make sure that when I create my embossing like my second embossing area it actually has a different look so I'm going to flip the folder a bit so that I have two different sides of the embossing folder in one single strip now here you're going to see already that I started with pink cardstock so that already when I added the ink and I embossed it the soft pink is going to create already there's a level of dimension now I'm going to add that extra dimension and for that I am actually adding a little bit more of coral berry you're going to see that I'm using my smallest um, ink blending brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a little bit of the coral berry uh, pigment ink and I'm gonna go ahead and shade the areas um, that the ink you know kind of created that shading on the embossing on the embossing um, strip of paper and that's pretty much the areas that are deep into the page so you're gonna see that by me adding the little bit of ink I'm just making sure that all the areas that were embossed they just pop and I'm gonna go ahead and it's, it's gonna take you some time I'm gonna make sure that I add my ink in all those little crevices now I have to make sure that the flower completely pops I need to create a little bit of shadow around the entire area of the flower again I'm gonna use the same method of picking up some of the ink but this time I'm gonna use a little at the bigger brush just because I have a larger area and I'm just gonna make sure that I go with the small details with my small brush and just to finish I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of heat with my gun to make sure that the ink completely sets. So you're gonna see that I created three different panels. Two are in one single sheet and one separate because I'm gonna create a pocket also, like a little uh, journal card for my pocket page. Now, like I said before, I am creating a six by eight spread. So I need to make sure to cut a piece of cardstock that is gonna fit to six by eight. I am using one piece of paper from the Celebrate collection uh, from Altenew. And I'm actually, um, I was inspired by the look of Noreen's card because she picked something that actually had the two tones of the colors that she used in the embossed area. So I went and did the same. And that's why I picked the, this paper because it had the same tones plus a little bit of orange and a little bit of green. So here's another key to make that like, you know, um, 
dimension just pop a little bit more is to frame the embossed area with a color that contrasts. So I'm picking up a little bit of the green that's on the background and I'm creating a strip of paper that is going to show around a quarter of an inch on each side of the embossing um, strip. Now I've cut my strip to three and three quarters in width and my little green paper is around four inches i think so it's gonna see just a little bit of the green pop but it's gonna be enough to make everything just pop and now here's the key i am using double-sided adhesive tape from mountain new just to glue my embossed um, strip onto the green cardstock that's gonna make sure that it's completely secure and lays flat and make those all those embossed areas just popped now outside of the camera i worked a few more of the things that i'm gonna need to create this uh, page and i'm starting with this is the hello i use the handwritten hello die set to create the word hello the same as in noreen's uh, card but i'm actually going to complement and create my title with this so you're gonna see that Noreen, when she created her page, everything is situated towards the left of the card. I'm going to go towards the right because the pictures are going to be on the left of my spread. So I need to balance that and I need to push that embossed um, strip of paper towards the right. Now, wherever the two uh, embossed areas met, there was a little bit of a little line that was created. And I'm okay with that, like I said, because that's going to give me the perfect spot for my title. I used um, glitter cardstock with um, the uppercase alpha, bold alpha die set to create the word work. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it right on the little seam between the two embossed areas. And then I'm going to, I also created a few leaves using the just leaf die set and the same color of a green cardstock that I created to frame my embossed um, strip. And I'm just going to glue them so that they're coming off the word work um, on the bottom left corner and on the top right corner of the word work. That's just going to create that flow on the page. And then I'm going to place the word hello right on top of the word work. And that's pretty much kind of the inspiration from Noreen. A little few changes and a few ideas on how you can use new products to make your own and add that extra dimension. Now because I'm creating a pocket page, I need to bring some of the inspiration from the title page onto my pockets. So I created a third embossed um, area with the Freely Peonies embossing um, folder. And I'm going to go ahead and actually fussy cut a little bit of the flower from the paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut a 4x6 piece of paper from the same paper that I used to create my title page. And all I'm going to do is make sure that the part the fussy card part of the embossing uh, flower or the freely peonies sits inside of the four by six card now once i have it in place i'm actually gonna go ahead and trim the axis that means that you're gonna have this little floral kind of embossed popping from the flat journaling card and you're just gonna that's gonna create that extra uh, dimension and tie the two sides together now i'm also gonna bring a few of the little leaves that i created i'm gonna pick i'm gonna kind of stuff them underneath tack them underneath the flower just to marry the two sides together and now here's when i'm gonna add like make it a journal card i'm gonna go ahead and use the snapshots stamp set and a little bit of obsidian ink just to create a little title that's just gonna give me a space to add my lines to journal and then you're gonna see that pretty much i'm just gonna add a few embellishments the same as noreen did a few enamel dots and that's about it i love how this turned out it was fun it did take some time but i love the fact that i just make that embossing folder really pop the dimension pops in this page and it was very simple to create a little bit of work but it was great to be inspired by a card and create a different project as always if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode take care guys Hello crafters, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching!